Hello, dear people. First things first. Cancer is not a disease that is constantly growing and ends always with death. This is all wrong. Like less serious diseases, cancer can also disappear. That's why there are thousands of patients who have been diagnosed with cancer and the cancer has been proven to have been disappeared forever, even though the patient has not taken any treatment. In principle, this rule applies. Every disease has a biological meaning. We just did yet not understand the meaning. Each organ has an important function and when something dramatic happens in our lives, the respective organ responds. This video addresses the five biological laws of nature which were discovered by the scientist Dr. Hammer. Now I want to introduce you to the wonderful video series of Disease is Different. This video series is also available in different languages. Until now, we have not had a plausible explanation for why a particular person has a specific symptom at a specific time in their lives. We asked ourselves, why me? Why now? Why this? It was clear that symptom-based therapies were developed and administered almost independent of the personal circumstances of individual cases. By knowing the meaningful special biological programs and the first natural law of biology, we and our tumor patient now understand exactly why me, why now, why this symptom. Can you imagine that nature does not engage in nonsense? That all bodily functions are purposeful. All bodily functions adapt to external circumstances on a daily basis. For example, we sweat and our pulse rate climbs when we jog, or we tan upon prolonged exposure to the sun, or our muscles grow if we regularly push them to their limit. However, other changes at the cellular or functional level are referred to as disease, as so far nobody has been able to make any sense of them. By knowing the new medicine, we realize that nothing in the body is wrong or false, that all changes are parts of nature's meaningful biological special programs, abbreviated SBS, whose purpose is to support the survival of the individual or the pack. Special program means a program that starts under special conditions namely when basic biological needs are suddenly no longer met, such as the intake of food or oxygen, physical integrity, contact with other living beings, status in the territory, reproduction, etc. The same biological needs are found in animals as well. Even though each species has its own peculiarities derived from its biological code, since the majority of the body and its functions are very similar in all mammals, its adaptation mechanisms, in the form of meaningful biological special programs, are largely identical. What is usually very different in humans and animals are only the situations in which a basic biological need is no longer met, which triggers a special program. Here are three examples, first from the animal kingdom. If a deer is surprised by a forest fire, its survival is in danger and it reacts with fear of death. This sensation triggers the SBS, i.e. the Meaningful Biological Special Program of the lung alveoli, which are responsible for the oxygen uptake. They maximize their function within the SBS so the deer can run faster and longer to escape the threat. The antelope finds her water hole dried up and suddenly does not know where to find fresh water. To survive, she must leave her safe environment and starts the SBS of the kidney collection tubules. These are responsible for the reabsorption of the water. The SBS will increase their function so that almost all water will be retained until the antelope has found another safe source of water. A fox cub falls down a slope, injuring himself severely. 
the mother realizes that it is in acute danger and can no longer take care of itself, and that her duty to ensure the safety and care of her child is violated. An SBS of the mammary glands in the mother is activated to produce more milk and thus better care for the little one until it has recovered. Almost everything we have until now, referred to as disease, occurs within the framework of such a meaningful, special, biological program. Let us examine the same examples in a modern, unnatural way of life, typical of civilized humans. Fear of death lasts only a short time in nature. Either the animal escapes the threat or it dies. Humans, on the other hand, may experience death fright for months. For example, due to a bad medical diagnosis. The fear of death is the same as with the deer, but there is no real visible threat or enemy to flee or run away from. He now persists, perhaps months or even years, in the sensation of dread, a situation our biology has not anticipated. The SBS of the lung alveoli starts here in the person too, but they do not work for minutes at their maximum capacity, but for months. As a result, cells proliferate to better serve this seemingly perpetual task. Depending on the intensity and duration, this cell proliferation is then visible in an x-ray and will be diagnosed as alveolar cancer by a radiologist or imprecisely as lung cancer. The loss of the safe environment, as in the example of the antelope, lasts in nature for only a short while. That is often not the case with us people. For example, when the elderly wife has died, the widowed man has to leave his house and is left alone in a retirement home. As a result, depending on the perception of the situation, the SBS, the Meaningful Biological Special Program of the Kidney Collection Tubules, can start. Unlike the antelope who either dies or resolves the situation within a short time by finding a new safe environment, the old man stays here for the rest of his life. Since the kidneys now hardly excrete water, he is diagnosed with kidney failure. We will see why this older gentleman could react in this way while a hundred others would not, or perhaps react in a completely different manner. In the wild, the duration of mammary SBS is always limited in time. Contrast that to humans, for example, when the little daughter suddenly runs into the street and gets hit by a car, the mother can start the same SBS with instinctive anxiety about her daughter to provide the child with more breast milk. Unlike the fox in the forest, however, the situation does not necessarily resolve in a few days to whether the child lives or dies. Thanks to emergency medicine, the child can be artificially kept alive for weeks, even in the worst injuries, and end up surviving such a terrible accident. But as a result, the SBS of the mammary glands runs in her mother for weeks, so that the cells, working at their maximum capacity, multiply. It forms a mammary tumor, which is also imprecisely referred to as breast cancer. But before someone worries unnecessarily now, hardly any injury or illness of their own children will lead to this SBS in individual cases. Because even here, whether a woman reacts with this SBS hinges on very specific criteria, which we will look at in the next part. The launch of an SBS should make us fundamentally capable of acting and help us to survive the difficult situation. Only if the woman, in the case of this SBS, persists for months in the feeling that the child is not adequately cared for, will the cell proliferation eventually result in a tumor discovery, as was the case in this mother. The following is very important. If the mother is worried about her child, for example for three months, then for three months grows a tumor in the mammary gland. 
However, if the conflict is resolved, for example, if the doctor informs the mother that the child is healthy again, then the cancer would go down. In this case, it would take three months for the mammary gland to return to normal size. After the mother has resolved the conflict, the tumor is decomposed by bacteria. These were just three examples of how cancer can develop. Cancer always arises from an individually conflict that is recognized as dramatic. And when that conflict is resolved, cancer almost never ends fatally. I promise you will never be afraid of cancer or bacteria again if you look at the interesting video series of Disease is Different. But there are other English language websites that deal with the five biological laws of nature. In this website, many types of cancer are discussed. In addition, I recommend you this YouTube video of Dr. Melissa Sell. The links can be found in the video description. If you know someone who has cancer, then I ask you to inform him about the five biological laws of nature. Each organ responds to a specific conflict. You can check it.